Hi there, Liars. Joe from Alarm Grid, and happy Halloween. Today, we're going to show you how to program a door window sensor into your Simon XTI or XTI5. We're going to perform the programming on an XTI, as that's what we have powered up. But I do have an XTI5 right here. It looks somewhat similar. The only difference between the two panels is that the XTI5 has a slightly larger screen. So if you are in the market for a new Simon XTI panel, I do recommend getting the XTI5 as you're going to be able to it's, it's easier to use and the screen is slightly larger, but both the panels work fine and they both work exactly the same. The user interface is actually exactly the same on both the systems. So on our Simon system, the system out of the box is compatible with Interlogix sensors as that's who makes the Simon panel, but it can also use uh, Qualsys sensors out of the box as Qualsys sensors work on the 319.5 frequency, which is what the uh, Interlogix sensors work on. Cool caveat: If you do have a Simon system in the, or if you do have a Qualsys system in the house or some of those sensors, you can program them in, in to your panel to use them. Today, though, we do have a Simon Interlog or Interlogix door and window sensor right here. And as you could probably hear, it said front door. That's telling me that I do have it currently programmed into the system. So let's jump into system programming. Let's delete it from our uh, sensor list, and then let's re-add it and test it. So on our Simon panel, I'm going to hit the gear, then I'm going to hit the down arrow until I see programming. Right there. I'm going to click enter, and then I'm going to enter the default installer code, which is 4321. OK. And then on this menu, I'm going to hit sensors. Now, it is in the system right now, so let's delete it. We don't have very many options. We have learn sensor, edit sensor, and delete sensor. Learn sensor is how you learn them in. Edit sensor is how you edit them. And then delete sensor is how you delete. <laughs> Go figure. So let's click delete sensor. And then as you can see, it's on sensor number two, our front door. Now the group number is important on the sensors as the group number tells you the system what the sensor is going to do. Uh, I'll explain it more when we get into the actual programming of the sensor. So let's click delete to get it ready. It's going to process the command. And then it's deleted. So now let's learn it back into the system. So I'm going to click Learn Sensor. And it says Trip the New Sensor. With the Interlogix sensors, you actually have to use the tamper to learn them in. So I'm just going to pop this off the back. So as you can see, the battery has fallen out when we took the, the cover off the back plate. And it's OK. You just want to make sure to put it back on so that the sensor does work. So as you can see, we have a coin cell battery. And if you look, in the sensor itself, it says positive is up. On our coin cell, we have the plus, that's the positive, and it's going up. We're just going to put it right here and clip it in. So it's good to go. Now we just have to clip this back into our cover. It's got little grooves, slips right in, and then clips back into place. So now we're all set with our sensor. Now in our programming, we have our sensor number, and then we have our sensor group. You'll want to pull up your installation manual for your Simon system and check out the legend that shows the different group numbers and what they do. The group number basically tells the system what the sensor is going to do. Uh, each number has a different description. For example, group number 10 is going to program this sensor in as an entry exit zone, which means that if we want to use this sensor for a front door, that's how we want to program so that we can walk out of the front door after we arm the system or that we can enter the front door to disarm the system when it's armed. Again, the menu in the, uh, in the installation manual is going to show you all the different group numbers that are available and what they do. Super handy to have pulled up when you are doing your sensor programming on the system. The sensor name is the front door, which is perfectly fine for, for us. And then the bottom says product code, which we're not going to get into. It's not a super important feature. I'm going to click Save to lock our sensor in. It's going to process the command and then go back to the learn mode for another sensor. So we're good. I'm going to go all the way back to the main menu, and we're going to test our sensor out. So I'll move the magnet next to the sensor. Move, Front door. move the magnet away. I moved it away from the read switch, but as you can hear, it did fault. It did tell us that the front door is open and that we do have it open on our front doors right here. So we know that the sensor is functioning. That's how to program in a door or window sensor to your Simon XTI or XTI 5 system. If you do have any questions about this, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. You can also head over to our website, alarmgrid.com, or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you do enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to get future updates when we post future videos, feel free to click the notification button below. And happy Halloween. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.